Hello and welcome to Infinity. Let's do an edit of this picture, including using soft shapes and creating a soft spiral, which is surprisingly easy. We'll start off then. This is a bit brighter. You can see the red bits and all poking through. That's because I have these on here to show where the burn is. So I'm going to go to Shadows and Highlights, go to Highlights and turn this down. In fact, I'll turn it all the way down. Um, because I want a little bit of darkness in order to put on some lightness later on. Yeah. Um, let's turn the black point up a bit, just a bit to get a bit more contrast into it. And maybe the brightness down a bit. There we go. That'll do. Now I'm going to develop that. And if we're in here into the photo persona. Now I want to do a crop of this, and because it's this spiral, this circle here, the natural crop is a, a square one. So I'll go over here, and you can make sure that if you go to the the uh, cogwheel there, click on the one to one, and it'll give you a square. I'm also going to pull this inwards here to get the circle at the end right in the middle of the square. There we go. Now then, I want to start doing my kind of spiral inwards but first of all let's add a little bit more darkness here and so I'm going to hit um, in fact I'll just go to curves and pull this down so I can always go back to it but it's going to add a little bit of dark into it so I can add a bit more light in a minute. Now then I'm going to go to Dave's soft shapes which look for the link down below for the downloadium and we're going to go down here to the soft crescent. Click on this, go to the move tool and you can see where it is. And we're going to bring this down to about here. Then we're going to make the basic part of this. And we're going to start it off so that this is a bit of a circle. But then I'm going to double click it so I get the red dot so I can pull this in to get a bit, thin it down somewhat. I'm also going to turn the overlay of the zero opacity all the way up because it starts at 50% and change the overlay to the normal so I can see it. And again I can go back the other way in a bit. Now then duplicate it, Control J and now I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so I hit Control and Shift together and pull this in and it just shrinks it just in a bit. Then I'm going to hold on the Shift key and rotate it so it goes planks across like that quite neatly. Then up here, so it's going to form part of a circle here. Now then, the magic is I hit Control J again and it puts it in here. And it just repeats those moves as well. So I hit, keep hitting Control J and I got myself a soft spiral. I can go as far as I like with that. So I've got a lot of layers here now, so I've got the top one selected, go down to the bottom, hit Control, sorry, Shift and click. So I've got all of them, and then Control G to group. So now I've got a soft spiral. Now I go to the Move tool, and I can move the centre of this up so it's over the middle there. Then hit Control, Shift and expand it to fill the picture more as far as I want. And now with this group, now I can go back and go back to the overlay and I can adjust the opacity to where I want it to be. In fact, if I wanted this to be even more exaggerated, I could hit Control J to duplicate it so I got an even stronger version. And Control Z to undo it because I, I think it's enough as it is there already. And what else can we do to this? Well, um, if the colour's changed, if you like that rich colour, that's fine. But a lot of that was caused by the curves. So I'll go back to the curves here and change the blend mode down to luminosity. Um, but that's still fairly strong, isn't it? In fact, I don't think that's going to make a lot of difference. Oh well, I'll leave that on there. It's because of that overlay. There, the overlay has changed the, the colour more. But it's actually quite nice in that strong way. What we're also going to do here going to go to Dave's vignettes, also free. See the link below. And I'll go to the 
vignette ellipse here. Go to the Move tool and just drag this down to overlay all of it there. And the open that up. Oh, wrong one. There we go. The vignette. Open that up and go to the blur. Double click that. We need a bit more of a blur to soften that out. So I'll just call that, say, 500 pixels. And that all softens that all together. But then when I go to the curve, I'm going to make that bigger so I can hit Control Shift and Okay, control shift. Go to the curve. Thank you. Go to the corner node, then control shift. That's it. Hit that first and then pull that out. So it's a lot more round just to the corners. And there we go. And, and I can go to the opacity here, make this darker or lighter. Maybe just a little bit there. So overall, there you go. That was a fairly quick edit, but literally going from um, this through to this. That just subtle spiral drawing you in. That's it. And thank you very much for watching.